Kids have this awesome ability to just run and run 100 miles an hour for hours at a time without needing to catch their breath. Ah, I wish I could just bottle it up and have some for myself. Sadly, when it's time to switch gears, these poor kids are still focused on what they were doing 10 seconds ago, and they're still wired. What do you do to get them to calm down? Ah! I love children. They're awesome. They're these little sponges that are full of energy and personality. Personally, I think it's great. Oh man, do I have something on my face? Like right here? Sorry, cat in a hat <laughs> for Read Across America Day. In fact, one of my favorite quotes comes from Dr. Seuss himself from one of my favorite books, Horton Hears a Who. It's a story about Horton who is this elephant type creature who grabs a flower and meets these little tiny people inside. Doesn't realize that it's his own little village. And from that, he creates this quote, a person's a person no matter how small. That's how we think of as children here at Joy Kids. They're these little people that want to desperately learn from us. And so when we tell a child to just take a chill pill or to calm down, they're looking at us like we have three eyes or something because they have no idea what we're talking about. So it's up to us as adults to teach them the strategies that they need to cope. For instance, we know to count to 10, or to scream in a pillow, that's one of my personal favorites if I'm feeling angry, <laughs> or to get a glass of warm tea. We've developed these strategies over the years. These guys are still young and are looking to us to provide these strategies for them. So it's not necessarily their fault that they can't calm down or that they just haven't learned how to process these skills yet because they haven't been taught how. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some of these strategies you can use. Now there are a number of reasons why children misbehave. Some of it's because they're tired, they're bored, they're hungry, they're thirsty, they need to go to the bathroom, but also they could just be overstimulated. And that's what we're gonna focus on today, kids that are just overstimulated. One of the strategies I use in the classroom is <laughs> humor. Despite the fact that they're already in their hyper state, what you can do with humor is distract them. Take their energy and refocus it on a completely different topic, which then in turn causes them to really have to process and think. So it's a great technique in my classroom, especially when we have kiddos that run around, run around, run around. They're able to kind of catch their breath and refocus by looking at, oh man, Miss Steph looks awesome today. Oh, she's wearing a cat and hat. Do you know you have something on your face, Miss Steph? <laughs> and I'll say, no, I had no idea. So stay tuned, keep watching, and take a gander at some of the strategies we use in the classroom and some of the strategies you can possibly use at home to add to your box of tricks. One of the strategies we use in the classroom is called deep breathing or otherwise referred to as guided meditation. One thing that this does is it allows the child about five to 10 minutes to just breathe deeply and focus on that. It's a great calm down strategy for kids that are overstimulated and just desperately need an opportunity to calm down, slow things up, and get refocused for the next task at hand. Now, obviously, <laughs> this strategy doesn't work for everyone, and we have a couple of other things that you can use instead of a deep breathing exercise. The next video will explain a little bit more in detail of what else you can do with your kid if you're desperate for an opportunity to just calm down and refocus. So in addition to doing like a guided meditation or quiet breathing, we try to enhance all the senses. So we distract the child best by, you know, touch, smell, and sight. So I have a friend here that's going to help me demonstrate. In the classroom, we use something called a what? What do we call this? Um, uh, a calm down box? A calm down box or a calm down kit. And the kids know that 
If they're starting to get a little wound up, they get sent to the Calm Down Kit. And in here we have a few things. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is for touch. This is great for the kids that are overstimulated by being angry or frustrated and they just need to squeeze. It's kind of a rubbery texture. And I'm gonna give this to my friend here to show you how we can use it. See, he's exerting that energy and in essence, distracting him from the original thoughts that were racing in his mind. Very good. All right, thank you very much. Another thing I have is maybe you have the kid who is just so upset, can't calm down, and needs something that's a little bit more soothing as opposed to like anger, frustration. So this is a little bit silkier, and yep, that's right, kind of distracting and encouraging the breathing and focusing the energy on, again, something that's more tactile. Very good, thank you my darling. The next thing I have is something for sight. Now, by distracting the sight, you're able to refocus, regroup, and get on to something else. This is actually one of my favorite activities, especially for the talkers. The kids that just cannot stop talking, they're overstimulated by their surroundings. We have a couple of those in class, don't we? <laughs> so what we do is we give this to that student and couple of things. One, by touching it, it has ridges. So the child's able to feel the ridges and then watch. And it's the magic wand, that's right. So what they do is they also watch as the glitter and the sequence fall down. My mom had that for me. Yeah, I want you to watch this. Can you do that for me? Awesome. Why do those keep going up? They keep going up. It's a figment of the imagination. That's why this is a great calming tool, because you see? Mm -hmm. And you're ready to do something else now, aren't you? Yeah, awesome. So the last thing I have in here in my Calm Down Kit is for the sense of smell. Now, if you have a pill bottle, I used a um, bubbles, things that you get like a wedding or a party gift. Um, I cleaned it out. If you have a pill bottle, sanitize it, make sure it's done. Inside, I have a cotton ball and I doused it with my favorite essential oil. You can use vanilla extract. Some things I use are lavender and eucalyptus. Lavender is very calming. Eucalyptus is focusing. So what I want you to do is, I'm gonna have him breathe in deeply. Go. What do you think? Do you like it? What's in it? It's something called eucalyptus. Yeah. Do you feel calmer now? Awesome. So, and fix your legs. This is just something that I have in the class on hand. You, again, you can get these things dollar bin at Target. You can get it at a dollar store. You can get it from Walmart. Um, buy below if you have it. Easy grab and go things. And stay, thank you for watching us today. And I hope you guys focus on our website, um, www.joykidslearning.com for um, updates on a workshop we're going to be having on <laughs> why kids misbehave. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.